Hey, what's up, big John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of Shokugeki no Soma Chapter 152. If you'd like to read this chapter with me, you can click on the card right here, or follow the link in the description below, and we can watch this at read this chapter together at the same exact time by following the little page overlay I have right here in the top corner. With all that being said, uh, Shokugeki no Soma has just been going uphill lately, like things have been insane, and I cannot wait to read this chapter. With that being said, I hope you guys have your chapter up and ready to go, because page one is already crazy, man. I had this page up because I have to have it up to set everything up, and it's just a bomb right from the beginning, so... An incident at the victory party. So he goes, everyone, please, I want you to calm down and listen to me. I fear it is likely that I will very soon be released from the elite tent. So this is Ishiki telling them that like he probably he's like, yo, I'm probably going to be dropped from the elite ten. Like it's obvious. Um, and this is kind of like a flashback because in the last chapter, we already saw that he was dropped from the elite ten. So pretty interesting. Why? But I don't want you to stop being the seventh seat. It's a shame, but it was a long time coming. However, I plan to make counter arrangements as best I can while I still exercise my power as an elite tent member. A plan? So this is interesting. We didn't know Ishiki had a plan. So he has a plan and we'll just have to see if he can uh, go on with it. Nevertheless, page two. Shout out to Manga Stream for the translation. They are amazing for always doing that. And then here we go. Page three. For the upcoming survivors, Purge. I'll set up a number of rules, okay? So he set up the rules for this shit that's about to go down that we saw in the last chapter. All these people with their central badges and shit, thinking they're like the bosses. Like, I wonder what happened. Oh, oh, page four? We got a color page? Hello? What the heck? Alright, let's continue. That was weird. Page five. Okay. But, okay, so here we have the chapter page. This chapter is called Reconnaissance. And then here we have Arenas, <laughs> like, going, who is whom? Head spinning. Soma, Joichiro, uh, and her dad, Azami. Anyways, let's continue. Page 6. Okay. What's this? Rules concerning the Shokugekis to which the Azami administration is challenged by the research societies who wish to overturn their dissolutions. In other words, something to do with the survivor's purge. Common name, the Ishiki Rule. Okay, so Ishiki made a rule. What did he do? He named it after himself somehow. That pisses me off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the Ishiki rule. Clause 1. Starting the Shokugeki, research societies and seminars wishing to have their dissolution recanted, henceforth returned to as the challenging party, may challenge central, henceforth received, referred to as the receiving party, to a Shokugeki. The receiving party must accept the challenge, so Central always has to accept the challenge. All this challenging party, receiving party stuff, like he's drafting a legal brief or, or an official form also pisses me off. Yo, Ishiki making moves, dude. Shout out to Ishiki for putting all this shit into play. So this is what he was doing when Soma was doing his Shokugeki, dude. Clause 2. Match theme, etc. The theme and the date of the match must be mutually agreed upon by both of the challenging and the receiving party. Clause 3. Victory conditions, etc. If the challenging party should win, the research society or seminar will continue to exist. However, if the receiving party wins, the challengers will disband and will abide by the wishes of the Yuzami administration. Refusal to do so will result in expulsion. It's all pretty standard. Ishiki's really real goals are yet to come. So what's interesting is that those that are uh, challenging now aren't getting expelled if they lose. So like they're going, they have a chance. If they fail, well, they fail. Clause 4. Selection of judges. To ensure neutrality and prevent bias towards either challenging party or the receiving party, the judges, the judges will be chosen from outside of Totsuki. An odd number of judges will be randomly selected from domestic cooking organizations and other food-related administrative entities. Furthermore, once the judges have been selected, both the challenging party and the receiving party may not have any contact with them until the day of the Shokugeki itself. In situation where contact is made, the match is considered a void, a new match will be arranged. So, clearly Ishiki is trying to stop everything that Azan tried doing the last time. 
that damn Ishiki, he wrote this up behind everyone's back. With this, it's almost completely assured the judging will be fair. Meticulous to a fault, that guy. Yep, so Ishiki, yo. Dude, Ishiki, man, he's the MVP, dude. He just put in all the plays, son. So now, the actual, like, the little groups that want to fight for their, um, their actual... Damn, I can't, I just lost the word for their, like, little clubs, for their clubs. There we go. I actually have a shot. However, they are going to be probably going against Elite 10 members, so that may be difficult. But we may see the um, resurface of some of the older top 10 members that are trying to keep their clubs, like the guy that has the Asian-inspired club. Oh, I just forgot his name. That's so weird. I keep forgetting names today. But he's probably going to fight for his club now that these rules aren't set. Nevertheless, let's continue. So you propose this sort of rule as part of the Elite 10 Council. Even Nakaira Zami was forced to approve it. You laid the groundwork for this outside of the school by fully utilizing the authority and connections only an Elite 10 member would have. You create a situation where the Zami administration has little choice but to accept this rule. What amazing finesse. Since the results of the Shokugeki between Yukihira and Aiz and Etsua, Etsuya were made public, the general opinion from outside the school is that Oh, Kabutuyama Senpai's expulsion should be recited. That's crazy. This man's going to come back to the school? Dang. Good going, Ishiki Senpai. This guy still hasn't taught me about skewering. <laughs> Soma. What the fuck? He still hasn't taught him about skewering. That's hilarious. So that's why Soma wants him to come back to school. Because he needs to learn about skewering. Let's continue. Moreover, today is finally... Yeah, what is today? What, what's important? Central's Survivor Purge. Today is going to be the first day of it. What do you mean by first? Does that there mean there will be a <laughs> Soma, dude? Currently, there's close to 100 organizations that have yet to be dissolved. Yet, it seems that there have been less than 30 members appointed to Central, even including the Elite 10. That's why they're splitting up the Shokugeki into a number of days. Central is actually pretty small, huh? Azami seems to be choosing them personally, so it must take some time to do so. Assuming he's still making so selections it could still grow so central only has 30 people that's interesting the students who've already been chosen they are the badasses that you call the elite 10 reserves there's a reserve for the elite 10 okay all the tough guys who have potential equal to the elite 10 are gathering on the side of the enemy i wonder i wonder if they picked up any of the people we know not sure whether this is a stroke of luck or misfortune but neither my mizi Miyazato seminar nor Tadaroko's local specialty RS has its Shokugeki scheduled for today. Pretty much everyone's uneasy right now. Central, the Elite 10 reserves, huh? I wonder what Soma's thinking of right now. I want to see what. <laughs> I think it was obvious what Soma was thinking of. <laughs> I want to see what these kinds of guys, what kind of guys they are. I wonder if I can somehow infiltrate the place where they're holding the Shokugakis. But if you make a wrong move, won't things get real bad? No, I'll be fine. I'm just going to take a look, right? It's not fine. This is what you were talking about, Yukihira. It's cuz Mari went and ran his mouth. Uh, how's this my fault? All right, I'll join you then. Oh, okay. Since you're going alone, makes me super uneasy, Yukihira. Takumichi. Yeah, let's go, Takumi. Well, with Takumichi going, I feel better. Speaking of which, it's like he's already part of the dorm. I want to go too. If possible, I want to see... Who the Shokugeki opponent for our, the local specialty RS is going to be? Oh, Todorokoro, come, come. What about you, Mari? Reckon if that's the case? It's best if we split up. Yo, classic eyeglass pool. The Survivor Purge matches are being split between four different venues labeled with A to D. Gee, they're not having them all in one place? Ah, that's right. Is the Don RS having a Shokugeki today? Apparently, I'm an honorary member, so I'm worried about that. <laughs> so, what the hell? I don't know where they are. The venue at which each organization is having its match weren't publicized. There's another problem. Every venue is going to have a number of matches occurring concurrently. Uh, will I be able to see them all? You're right. One person per venue would be a bit worrisome. We'll need at least groups of two or three to recon... Reckon... Properly. I can't say that word. I think it's like reconnaissance, but I can't like... I don't even know. Ishiki isn't here today. It seemed he had stuff to do, so he went out. It should be fine if we ask Fumio-san. Well, if you put it that way, then we gotta help out. If Takumi's going, then I'm going too. Everyone? Yeah, now let's hurry and split up. That's right. Wait a second. Okay, so they're all gonna go check out the matches. And Soma's going to go see if they want to come, I guess. Reckon? 
Um, but leaving Arena Sam aside, when Nakiri when Nakiri still not feeling well, you know, she's still going crazy about finding out uh, Soma is Joichiro's son. She's been like this ever since Nakuma Senpai came over. I'm fine. I've gotten a lot better. Hisko, since I'll be resting, please go and help everyone. Are you sure you're all right? If anything happens, please call me on my cell phone. <laughs> Hotline bling. If you start feeling dizzy again, take this herbal medicine with hot water. You can boil the water with this electric pot. Ah, the cup is here. There's no need to explain it all. I've got it. So Arena is still like <laughs> fucked up and staying. However, Aruto is going to go. I'll be going then. Yukihira, please wait here a bit while I go get ready. Yukihira-kun, it doesn't bother you. That day, what Nakiri Izami said. What my father said. Oh, well, it was pretty surprising. Okay. I still can't believe it, that you knew my dad. Well, when you get the chance, I'd enjoy it if you could tell me about it. When I get the chance, doesn't this bother you at all? My father said it, didn't he? The re this revolution, its beginnings are rooted in his relationship with your father, Saiba Joichiro. Jeez, there's so much that I don't know. All the pillars I'd base my life up until now, they feel like they're crumbling away. Hmm. I get that something happened a long time ago, but even after hearing old stories like that, my actions won't change. So that's Soma saying that. Right now, what's happening doesn't sit right with me. That's all. I'm just accordingly. Yukihira, sorry for making you wait. See you later, Nakiri. Take care of yourself. Hmm. So that was a nice conversation that Soma and Arena just had. Yeah, why are these the random pages are colored? But they're nice. I won't lie. Those random colored pages are sick. Okay, so venue A squad. All right, we got damn. I, I forget. I'm forgetting everyone's name. We got venue B squad, venue C squad. Okay, and <laughs> they're riding bikes. And venue D squad. Yo, this man has a road racer. Someone's got a moped, and they're going. Okay. Okay, so cap. All right, so here's one. Elite ten four. Yo, fourth seat. Momo, save my cooking. Okay. Begin the Shokugeki. The curtains rise on the venue of death. Next time, a color page for the Elite 10 Invasion Arc. So this is the Elite 10 Invasion Arc. We're finally going to see the Elite 10. Like, some of the members that we haven't seen just go at it, which is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Um, we haven't seen a lot of these people. We haven't seen, like, this Elite 10 Reserve. Um, it's pretty cool to see them all, you know, just see their cooking, see what level they're at, um, see where our first years, like, match up with them, like, Soma, Takumi, uh, Megumi, all of them, dude, just to see, like, where they match up with these people, it seems like Maori and Megumi are also going to be fighting for their clubs, I wonder, I wonder if they're gonna be the ones that are gonna be doing the Shokugekis, or if, like, they're captains, or they're, like, are gonna do it, I don't know, but it seems like Maori and probably Megumi are the strongest, like, chefs in their, in their group so i'm curious to see if they're going to be doing shokugekis against these like elite 10 members or the elite 10 reserves nevertheless pretty solid chapter i really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it as well if so then please hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and i truly appreciate it but you guys have heard my thoughts i would love to hear your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section below let me know if i missed anything there was tons of information so it's possible that i did and this to this elite 10 invasion arc or as i like to call it the totsuki civil war has now begun it's going to be crazy to see the two sides go at it clearly uh central has like less numbers but i think they have more power dude like they have the elite 10 number one through five right yeah i think no like one through five and then i think they're missing three who dropped out but they have a like one of the strongest people in the school are on their side so that's going to be difficult. Like, who's going to take out the Elite 10, like, number one guy? Like, I don't think he's he's the best for a reason. Um, nevertheless, um, I guess I'll see you guys next week for another chapter of Shokugeki no Soma or in any of my other videos, if that's your thing. But as always, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.